here is a small story on Skanda or Kartikeya, the son of Lord Shiva. When Lord Shiva lost his wife Sati, he went into deep penance and meditation. At the same time, an Asura named Taraka also started doing tapas and gained a boon from Brahma that only the son of Shiva would be able to kill him. He knew that the chances of Shiva getting a son was now impossible. He thought he had tricked Brahma and attained immortality and he became vicious and started attacking all the kingdoms and all the worlds. Goddess Sati was reborn as Parvati to the mountain king Himavat. She was utterly devoted and loved Lord Shiva. Now Tarakasura started attacking heavens and drove the devas out of heavens. In desperation, the devas tried to awaken Shiva. So they sent Lord Kama, the god of love. Kama shot an arrow at Shiva, which disturbed him. And so he burnt Kama down with his third eye. But Lord Shiva also could not escape the arrow of love. When he opened his eyes and saw Parvati in front of him, he fell deeply in love with her. And so the husband and wife were reunited. But it is said their reunion was interrupted and the baby formed of their union slipped out and was caught by the god of fire, Agni. So hot and so bright was the baby that even Agni Deva, the god of fire, was not able to hold him and dropped him onto Ma Ganga. Ganga Maya carefully carried the baby onto her banks and there the baby was found by the Kritikas, the six stars of the constellation Taurus. And that is why he is also called Kartikeya. The baby was born with six heads and that is why he is called Shanmuka. Each head represents the five element and the last one represents pure consciousness. When the time came for Kartikeya to face Tarakasura, he fought with extreme bravery and valour, drove Tarakasura's army out of the heavens and killed Tarakasura. His bravery, strength and valour earned him the position as a commander-in-chief of the Devas. Kartikeya is called by many names, Shanmuga, Muruga, Skanda and this is the story of how he was born. Hurry on.